Okay, everyone, and welcome to Crypto Spender. This is your number one place to find out each week. Maybe day. Okay, let's start that over again. <laughs> welcome, everybody, to Crypto Spender. This is the first video. Uh, please like and subscribe and hit the alerts button so you know when I have a new video. Today is the first video for the new channel known as Crypto Spender, and this is the best way for you to learn how to spend those bitcoins and other alt currencies that you have. I think it's important to note that today uh, we are at January 17th, right after 2017, right amid, right after, we hope, the uh, massive sell-off that we saw in uh, mid-January here, where Bitcoin losing... Uh, 40%, 37%. I've heard some people losing up to a lot more. So, we all lost out. Um, well, most of us. I have to say I fared better than some. Uh, on to where can we spend these things. This is the important part of the video. Where can we spend these cryptocurrencies? I think it's a big alert for us to say... It's time for us to take it serious. It's time for us to start spending these currencies and making sure that we get behind something. Uh, and this is the place that we're going to share everything you can. Hopefully you comment. I will look into just about anything uh, to see if it's, if it's a viable way. It's the question we hear more and more uh, about cryptocurrencies is, where can I spend these? And... Uh, then if if we have better places to spend them and we know how to use them people are one less likely to come out of the market they're definitely less likely to take their coins out of exchanges and switch them back to us dollars and in the cryptocurrency community that's the last thing that we want people to do we want people to keep them in there and use the technology so we should all put our right hand up or uh, whichever way you want to pledge and say, I'm not going to take my money out of the exchanges. I'm not going to take my money out of my wallet and put it back into US dollar or euro or whatever. If that's the case and you need the fiat currency, then you've overspent. Then you shouldn't be in the market. You should reduce what you're capable of playing with. But on the two-tier approach, looking at this at another way, you're going to say, we need to start spending these things. So, without any further ado, let's take a look and see what, as of 2017, what can we spend these buggers on? All right, here we go. I hope jumping ahead here. So, as you know, there are many sites. This one says spendbitcoins.com. Uh, um, not affiliated with any of these websites, by the way. This is just something for everyone to share and to get through uh, and start using our cryptocurrencies. So, uh, I've never really taken a close look at this, but I will uh, shoot something now. Uh, maybe in the future when we do a live channel, I will be able to have people ask what we want. Uh, looks like, I don't know how you're going to buy Bitcoin, so let's just take a look at products. Um, things you can get with Bitcoin. Looks like you can get camera pretty quickly. You can get, oh, going to pop me up. Um, computer projectors. Oh, it looks great. Apple MacBook. I wonder how much that one is. That's as of today. Just see if we can, if we could buy a, a Mac computer. Sure enough, buy with Bitcoin. Let's just see what the prompt does. Um, so this is what you're going to have to do if you want to follow the simple steps is add this item and you're going to buy it from Amazon, purchase Amazon gift card from gift. And then you're going to check out on Amazon with the new gift card. So apparently this website is just pretty much what we already knew. But if you didn't know before, uh, that is one of the best ways to use your cryptocurrency is by buying gift cards. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So I think this is, oh, this is this is great. This is the same website, spendbitcoins.com. 
And I don't know, let's say I'm in Brazil. I wish I was in Brazil. Um, well, what do we got here? What comes up? There's online service place. I'm sure, I don't know if these are actually anything. Um, Oddity. I don't know if these are real companies here or I guess but we want to see arts and entertainment let's see what can what can be spent oh shout out to vertical horizon management llc in louisiana alamo draft house cinema in austin texas what what accepting what are they accepting is probably just bitcoin i guess this is bitcoin.com that would make sense so, yeah, give a shout-out if you're dropping some coin at Alamo Draft House. It's going to be going to cost you twice as much to get a pint today at this Draft House. I'm not sure if it's a beer, but then it says cinema. Okay, pay. Another, all right. Another one you can do in, it says the British Virgin Islands. That's hilarious that this thing is popping up as the map in Nebraska. Yeah, some questionable things happening down there. Whoa, which casinos? All right, let's just see. People went out in Vegas having a good time. Ran out of cash, but you're like, you know what? I got that stash of Bitcoin I bought in 2014. Hard up. This is where gamblingwithbitcoins.com is located. It's not even a physical place. Okay. Hey, we're, we're going to add up. Here's another casino one. I'm sure that that is not... A, but it ain't just about the U.S. But appear, oh, here we go. So, oh, let's say if I do go to Brazil, anybody, and then we'll hit Asia real quick because Asia is probably, uh, probably the biggest region. Oh, here, that's cool. This is all serving all places that accept Bitcoin. Star Gems, Coin Host. Yeah, okay, so that's funny. How about something that I really... What would I... I kind of want to, like, go to the movies. Like, that's... That's what I want. I want to be able to, like... Oh, I just went to a movie. So, yeah, we checked that out already. I wish we were doing a live feed. You could tell me which one you want. Um, what if I just want to go to... A festival? Yeah, I guess. But I want to use this stuff often, frequently. So... Salsa Festival, that's pretty cool. So Salsa Festival 2013, huh? Yeah, see, this is the problem. This is what this is what this channel is all about. We need to update stuff. We need to figure out why is this giving me 2013? Yeah, zero reviews. Of course, it's nothing. Well, getting through, spend bitcoins. Well, we you know work a little harder, get some more up there, but. We'll start spending them. Where's, I mean, where's a place that I would spend racetracks? Yeah, spend your Bitcoin at the racetracks. Come on. Uh, ticket sales, sure. Like, you know, it's something I do online anyway. I buy, I buy things. Virgin Galactic, very interesting. Provide descriptions on flights and vehicles. Skytours.com, accepting Bitcoin. Private jet fly? Yeah, I guess once you got those Lambos and you don't want to fly with the rest of us coach flyers, get your private jet fly and you can pay with Bitcoin. Today, not the best day to buy with Bitcoin, but that's even even more important reason why to do a video like this. We need to start using these cryptocurrencies, whether it's Bitcoin or Ether or any of them that you believe in the technology. We need to start trading them as real currency, not just speculating. That's what this channel is all about btc trip making your flights cheaper this is one thing that i've noticed travel seems to be a hot spot for bitcoin acceptance we're seeing a lot of travel sites accepting bitcoin uh some of the biggest ones i believe expedia don't quote me until we see it but i believe expedia does actually uh, allow you to book rental cars, hotels, and flights all using Bitcoin. And so, if you can get a rental car, a flight, and a hotel that's all-inclusive, 
yeah, we gotta find. We gotta see if we can rent a Lamborghini. That's what we need to do. We need to find out. Can you rent a Lamborghini with Bitcoin? Hey, if I can't own one, at least I'll rent one. All right, moving on. So sp check it out. Let let me know in the comments section. Spendbitcoins.com. See if you if you guys see anything awesome. We'll get back to it. Um, here's an article. Tech Republic. Little shout out. They. Um, Here's their article, 10 of the most interesting places to spend. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Virgin Galactic, we went through that one. WordPress, that's interesting. Uh, that's an interesting one. Here's Expedia, yeah. So, of course, Expedia, you know, if they're going to accept Bitcoin and you are able to, you know, maybe make an altcoin run at it and you get your Bitcoin numbers high and it's, it's really working for you, Spend these things, you know. We need to get in. We need to get used to it. I know. I know Bitcoin's a little slow to be a daily spender, so that we're gonna do some videos in the future on what we think uh, the best daily spenders are. And frankly, that's what this is all about. Is that we need to? I need to find out to tell you guys uh, the daily spenders. We need to use this thing to buy pizza. You know, Bitcoin. It's gonna be so slow with those charges. We got to get back to back to what we were talking about early in the year about how altcoins are going to be faster. They're going to have uh, more specialized usage. Um, if I got my digital wallet, I don't mind bumping it over, changing changing uh, currencies. If if Papa John's, well, I, I don't really like Papa John's. Bad example, but here he is. Domino's. Domino's accepts uh, Bitcoin, but maybe. Sooner than later, Pizza Hut's gonna, you know, start accepting Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, well, then, you know, whichever one's at the better rate for the day, you're gonna say, well, is my Ethereum gonna give me a better rate if I buy pizza now, or is it Bitcoin? Well, it's weird. Usually, when I when I buy pizza, I usually use my Bitcoin. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know the price of cheese or something against Ethereum. I'm doing better, so I pay with the Ethereum. This is that's what we're looking for, and so that's why uh, I'm doing this video to keep to keep us on track and to encourage people. and And I hope I get some sort of sponsorship out of it, frankly, because if I keep doing this and, and plugging it, um, I think it, it benefits everybody if we all start using these more. So the Pirate Bay um, gift. That's what we talked about earlier. Gift. Buy cards, buy gift cards online and spend them either online or a physical physical store. You are not transferring money back to a fiat currency if you do that because it that gift card already has street value. It already has the face value of it. You don't need to bounce your money from Bitcoin to US dollar to a gift card. That's the point. That's why this is brilliant. I forget who, who famously said it. I'm, you know, one of these billionaires said that you could buy anything with, uh, with gift cards and uh, bit currency. There was another one. I'll look into that. It's pretty good. But yeah, just we have to think about using our money a little differently. Um, and it is money. We have to, it's our money, and we need to spend it because that's what I want to get to. I want to get my portfolio to a, to a position where it's spinning me off wealth that I can utilize one or two percent of my of my gains to purchase things that I want overstock.com I mean they have everything you through cane through coinbase okay overstock was the first major retailer to start accepting Bitcoin through coinbase that's interesting so let me know if you know more about that that they only accept through Coinbase. I don't do Coinbase. I mean, it wouldn't be long to get a, an account set up. I'm sure most of you people have multiple accounts. Um, so there you go. Sports teams, Sacramento Kings. That's actually a segue into the later, uh, later story I was going to talk about, and that is who's going to accept Bitcoin next. Um, and that's what they just said is that uh, Mark Cuban announced that next season... Um, the Mavs, the Dallas Mavericks will start accepting Bitcoin. So can you buy beer with the Bitcoin or is it only the tickets? Okay, so let's check on, let's, let's see what's going on through Newsweek right now. Um, it says, next season he's tweeting. 
He said, when can I buy my tickets with Bitcoin? When can I buy the tickets with Bitcoin? So that's important. Uh, you know, if it's one thing if you could if you could buy a beer, you know, if you could come in with your with your digital wallet and go to concessions. I think that's what we're looking for, but tickets is a good first step. That's, you know, I guess those are the implementations and that's how we know that we are still in the infancy of the cryptocurrency market. This is still new. We're still working on um on developing these technologies but that's why it's so exciting because there's so much money to be made now granted we just went through a little uh correction major correction don't call it anything than what it was it was a major correction what do i know i've been only doing this for th three months all right other places that uh let's see here we got that etsy that is a Vendors, depending on the individual seller, they have to add it to their profile to be able to do it. So the individual seller has to allow it. Okay. Interesting. So there you have it, those places. Um, here's an article, Where to Spend Your Cryptocurrency. Uh, I always like to list ones. I always think they're the best. I don't want to do Facebook. Okay, let's roll through. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't like your tone, man. I don't like your tone. Yeah, Litecoin. I hear a lot of people saying that Litecoin is the one that, that we really need to get behind for spending. It can be done a lot. Um, this is kind of giving you a... It's decent. So Coinbase is going to give you... These are the details for each of them. We mostly by now, I guess we'll get to this later, about how to get onto an exchange. That's not really what I'm looking at. I'm not trying to help people get onto exchange. I'm trying to help people figure out a way to spend these buggers. Yeah. Is this the same article? Yeah. Okay. Bitcoin ATMs. We can talk about Bitcoin ATMs right here. Uh, just recently on YouTube, we saw a uh, a member, let's see, someone from South Korea, in South Korea, using an ATM, uh, using a Ripple uh, account on their phone and using the card uh, that they were issued to actually um, take fiat currency out of an ATM using Ripple. Well, now Ripple's been up and down. It looked like it, it might have been one of the best usable currencies. South Korea was really starting to adapt it, and I think that it had something there. Yet to see if South Korea... They usually will do the right thing. I Don't count South Korea out yet. Anyway, back to where we can... Uh, so the ATMs, uh, we can check that out quick too. ATMs are a great place. I know, um, in fact, maybe we'll just quick check that out next. Uh, I just like to check some articles, see if you guys, anything's popping. No. Uh, let's, let's look for Bitcoin ATM. We're going to do some Google Maps. Oh, I guess I don't need to type Google Maps. I could have just clicked it. Okay. Um, let me tell you where I... Well, you can see that I am actually stationed in Hawaii at the moment. Stationed. I'm not military. Uh, let's just look at U.S. mainland. Here we go. So, it looks like we are mostly on the west coast here. We'll do another map check. Just uh, coin me. Uh, Bitcoin ATM South Center. That looks like that must be Seattle. Um, here we go. Nova Coin ATM. It 
It's an ATM. Open till nine. Open till two. Open till two. Uh, so it looks like in San Francisco. Well, it looks like we got something going on in in uh, Las Vegas. So again, if you end up in Las Vegas and you need to you need to cash in those bitcoins because you're gonna make money gambling in a slot machine. Looks like California is our hotspot. Look at San Francisco. Tech, 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 tech town. Whew. You can't, you can't walk down the street without bumping into a Bitcoin ATM in the Bay Area. Alameda. Okay, checking out the rest of the states. It's like we had some in Las Vegas, and of course many in LA. I'm sure you just uh, just the massive amount of people that we have in LA. Just gonna allow us. I know there is one for the record in Honolulu. You can check that out too. All right, so you got. Coin source, Bitcoin, ATM. There's a few of them scattered around. So fair enough, you're in the LA area. You can get to an ATM. Yeah, and, and I think you should. I think that, you know, if we can get the price, that's the problem, the fluctuating. We need to get the price of transactions down. Um, you know, and maybe that's something that's, that's going to work better better now that uh, that we did have the correction. Okay, on the East Coast, a few popping up. Looks like we got we got to be more than one in New York. Oh, what do we got here? Search it again. Oh, yeah. So, New York, L.A., I mean, you can walk to every one of these. I'm sure people could run that on a marathon. That'd be a great marathon promo. Run from one Bitcoin ATM to the other. So, people are using these. We need to start using um, whether you're, you, you may get a better fee taking it out of a Bitcoin ATM. You can also deposit fiat currency to get it to your wallet um so in case you need to go to a uh a dallas mavericks game and buy some tickets you can do it online um what we will be looking for in the future is to see what you know where where is going to give me a discount there's got to be someone and that's when we know that it's going to be mainstream when people are saying if you use ethereum we're going to give you a discount and when, when cryptocurrencies are being offered at discount at retailers, we know for a fact that this thing is not only here to stay, but it's got a real market share. And so that's it for the first video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. Um, I know it was kind of bumpy. This is the first one. I will hopefully get better. Uh, side note, I didn't even have my proper mouse today. So thanks everybody for watching. Please comment. Let me know how it went.